I'm in uh, Shenandoah National Park, and this is Jenkins Gap. This is mile marker 12, and this is the parking area for Jenkins Gap. Yep, there's my little red car. And I'm going to head out here to uh, Skyline Drive and hike south. Uh, short distance, a tenth of a mile or so, and uh, till I find the trailhead for the Mount Marshall Trail. The elevation here is uh, 2350. Four tenths of a mile into my hike. The elevation here is 2420. It's been uphill a little ways. And here's the uh, trailhead for the Mount Marshall Trail. The Overlook and Jenkins Gap parking is down that way. So I guess about three or four tenths of a mile up here to the trailhead. And uh, <clears throat> this uh, trail goes on for quite a ways. I'm going to hike down it, uh, I don't know. Between two and three miles, about halfway down, I'm going to be looking for the trace of an old abandoned road when we get down here a ways. I'll explain more as I go along. One point seven miles into my hike. The elevation here is twenty one hundred feet, and uh, this is Waterfall Branch, the headwaters of Waterfall Branch. There's a hairpin turn right up here where, where we're going to cross over it, and then once I cross over this, I'm going to start looking for uh, year, years ago when I hiked part of this trail there was a campsite that I a potential campsite I found uh, not too far past this little turn here so I'll start looking for that go up here and cross over Right there is where the trail crosses. One point nine miles into my hike, I'm up to uh, twenty one sixty. I'm up on a ridge, and uh, let's see that that's where I came from. After you cross that creek, and you get up, you'll get up here on this first ridge, and it's it's a sharp bend to the right. That's the way I'll be headed. 
If you look over here to the left, down in there a ways, it looks like there's uh, some potential potential areas you could clean out and uh, for like some camping. So that's one possibility. And then directly across on the other side here, now this is, <clears throat> this, uh, yeah, I mean, you could, you could go back up in there a little ways in the, in the winter time probably and clear that out a little bit and do a little backcountry camp, camping up there too. So I'll mark it on my uh, GPS. Actually, I already have this spot marked, so I'll show it on my, on my GPS track. Two point three miles into my hike, the elevation is twenty one seventy, and I'm within about three hundred feet of <coughs> where a nineteen o five map told me that there should be an old road coming up from the east side down there somewhere. Well, I think I found where it is. This is what the trail looks like. That's where I came from. And I'm hiking south like this. And all of a sudden, look at this. There's this really wide, cleared off area here. And uh, so then if I come over here, And I and I look at look at this that that's that's flat that's flat ground right there and if you compare that <clears throat> to just a little bit further see how it, dro it drops off there but over here it's flat as you can see everything's super grown up so I really I would have to come back in the winter time to really bushwhack this but the tra the road would have come up it looks to me like it came up right here <clears throat> the 1905 map shows the road coming up here and then heading this way south now the 1905 map does not show this part of the trail heading north but I'm sure it was here they just didn't show it and then there's this great big cleared out turnaround area here that that I have not seen anywhere else on this on this trail so this had to be you know a turnaround zone for vehicles and stuff so because elsewhere on the trail there's hardly anywhere to turn around so <clears throat> I'm going to reposition my 1905 point to right here and we'll see how that lays out on the maps when I get home now this trail goes on for miles to the south but uh, as you can s hopefully uh, you can see from the pictures the trail conditions here aren't, aren't all that great now everything's all grown up and tall grass and ticks and nasty stuff so I think I'm going to turn around and head back <clears throat> but I'll put this on my uh, on my bucket list for this winter to come back here but I think I've got a good good waypoint here now um, I might step off in there just a little bit and, and poke around, but I, I'm not going to... Originally, if it, was, if it was cleared out, I would have bushwhacked it all the way to the park boundary, but I, I'll have to save that for uh, winter time. One, uh, excuse me, 2.9 miles into my hike. The elevation here is 2150. 
the trail is over there, Mount Marshall Trail is over there. I'm back to the uh, camp spot that I pointed out and I said I wasn't going to bushwhack back here, so I couldn't stand it. I had to come back here on the way back. I came back in here and look what I found. It's like a little uh, campfire circle there. Real cleared out back in here. And you're under trees. Pretty nice. And it's it's flat on back that way, but it's it's overgrown back that way. <clears throat> and then between here, looking this way, between here and the trail, looking this way, there's 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 some spots right in here along in here where, that you could clear out, do a little clearing. But if you come all the way back here, it's already cleared out. Look at that. So, and you even got a little campfire circle here. No fires allowed in the park though, but you got your little campfire circle there where you can sit around and talk. And uh, some nice big honking trees for shade. So, nice little spot. I'll, I'll have this marked on my GPS track. Here's a look, uh, Jenkins Gap. This is looking to the east. There's Skyline Drive heading north. The parking area is over there. Here's Skyline Drive heading south, and right up there at the bend is where the trailhead is. This is a map of today's hike. The quadrangle name is Chester Gap, 1994. And the purpose of the hike is to for me to look for remnants of the old Brown Town Lane. Now I got a couple of different maps to show you. I'm going to start with this one. This was a pretty this is a pretty wide angle view of that includes the east side of uh, in the valley and all the way over here the west side of the valley now over here you'll notice there's a little town here called brown town now back in the day brown town had a leather tannery and they tanned leather using tannic acid 
that came from tree bark. Certain species of trees like chestnut and hemlock, the people up here in the mountains would cut those trees down and shave the bark off and dry it and take it down here to Browntown and the tannery here would buy as much of that bark as they could uh, ship down. Okay, so that's just background information. Now I was looking at Google Earth over here and I noticed that this little stretch of road right here to about to where this line is that I drew, that is still called Old Brown Town Lane. And then it just, but it just stops right here. I drew this dashed line in. So the, mo the modern maps, the road just stops right here. Well, why would it be called Old Brown Town Lane unless once upon a time it went all the way across the mountain over here to Brown Town? So I started looking for this missing segment here. This trail here is the Mount Marshall Trail up in, up in the park. Okay, but this, this section here that I dashed in is, is missing. Well, guess what? I went back to an even older map, way, like way back, to Array 1905. And this, with the dashed line, is shown on the 1905 map. This is that same road, Old Brown Town Lane. And, and look what it does. It shows it coming all the way up to point A here. Well, point A is where th this road met what they now call the Mount Marshall Trail. So I looked on Google Earth, but I really couldn't see through the historical satellite photos. I really didn't see much of a trace of this road. But I got the coordinates off of that. Now I'm going to switch to the third map. This is a zoomed in version of the Chester Gap 1994 map. I got the coordinates off that 1905 map and that coordinate was right there where it says A. So I decided I was going to come up here and park at Jenkins Gap, mile marker 12, come down Skyline Drive, Look, looking for the Mount Marshall Trailhead, which is right here. And then I hiked the Mount Marshall Trail, which is an old road. Okay. And I hiked it until I got down here into this area. And this part of the mountain is pretty steep. So the, the really the only flat areas are where they cut into the side of this mountain here to put the road in. So my plan was to come down here in the in the vicinity of point A and start looking around for this for this trace of this road. Well, when I got to right here, the X, that's where uh, that's where I believe I found it. When you get to this point right here, you you'll notice that there's this fairly large circular flat area that looks just like a turnaround zone. Over here on the west side of the mountain they cut into it, cut into the mountain, to create like a little circle, semicircle turnaround area. I'm going to have to go back in the winter time to try to bushwhack this, this because this is completely uh, uh, overgrown at this point. Okay, sum summer's come to the mountain now, so from now until wintertime, I'm going to have to just hike regular hikes and forget about all this bushwhacking stuff for a while. But I did find where I believe this road came in, right here, and got the coordinates. And I'll go back this winter and see if I can bushwhack this down to the park boundary. So that was basically the hike. Uh, on the way back to my car, I did stop here and showed you this uh, camping site here. Real nice, real nice area. It's, a, it's off the trail a ways, so it's kind of secluded, which is nice. And it's flat, 
and it's cleared out. And you'll see that in my video. Right here is where I crossed the stream. Well, this is called Waterfall Branch. And back up here to my back up here to my car at Jenkins Gap. Ended up being uh, almost five miles and a 580 feet of ascent. Now that's a pretty flat hike for in the mountains. Five miles and 580 feet. That's a pretty flat hike. And that was the hike for today.